Mr. Walker, you know, in your testimony, you explain that you've been involved with the efforts of two large Northeast electric utilities to invest uh, in the reliability, resiliency, and security of the electric power system. In Wyoming and throughout the West, power systems face unique challenges. Many Western communities are in sparsely populated areas where electric power infrastructure really has to navigate some difficult terrain. So we, how will you prioritize the Department's resources to develop technologies that ensure safe, affordable, reliable service to power customers in the West? Thank you for the question, Senator. The you know, prioritization work is primarily done on a risk-based analysis. And so, you know, working throughout the United States and recognizing the diversity of geography and, and the different challenges each part of the United States has, we prioritize the work uh, according to their impact on reliability and, and resiliency component. And now also we've got cyber, both physical uh, or security to, to focus on. So the prioritization components we use are typical, we use DHS standards. Uh, which are similar to the international standards 33,000, which are risk-based, uh, to prioritize the work. The R&D work that is done cuts across the United States from the standpoint of the technologies that are actually there. It uh, doesn't necessarily get so much into the actual physical geography components, but there are aspects that we, we are starting to look at. And, and as I mentioned earlier, the resiliency components, and particularly in places like Puerto Rico, where we have the opportunity to change the standards by which things are built. So, for instance, in a situation like Puerto Rico or hurricane areas, you know, you look at a system that might be collapsible, similar to the way that a shear pin might be used on something as simple as a rototiller, right? So the redesign and reconstruct, there are also things that we look at and for areas in the country uh, where we've got different opportunities and, ch and challenges, uh, we, we modify the programs to adapt to them. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman.